taking a look at uh, the Windows Developer Preview, um, sort of a pre-beta version of Windows 8. And this is after um, downloading the ISO and burning a DVD image, and now we're loading. And I'm just going to walk through a basic installation. It's just like Windows 7 so far. And we'll accept the license terms using a beta. And let's do custom since we are unallocated disk space. And just like Windows 7, you could go and you could create partitions and you could specify um, you know, a file system that way. So if I were to do that, it might create additional partitions and just like Windows 7, it'll create a system partition. So notice, you know, with Windows 7, a lot of times it'll do like a 100 megabyte, you know, FAT32 system partition here. It's 350 megabytes. But either way, or I could have just clicked on next and the wizard would have uh, configured the unallocated space accordingly. Just like Windows 7. Okay, and just like uh, Windows 7, offer some customization options. Um, and you can kind of use the default express settings, or you can off and customize it. Um, you're back here. it's loaded this is basically the start menu and it, it's tiled so it, it kind of reminds me of like uh, you know the Windows uh, mobile you know Windows have a new mobile operating system on phones or kind of like an Android tablet um, you know, maybe like honeycomb or something like that but you can scroll through and here are some of the different tiles and these are basically just like you know menu shortcut items or items that will be on your menu and not all of you know this is just sort of a developer preview it's not even really a beta yet but you can see some of the apps that you might have and you just click on a tile to run that program and that's what it'll look like and I can't say I'm a big fan of that but they'll probably give you a way to you know customize the shell to make it like Windows 7 if you want or you know to kind of customize it to your preference let's look at some of the you know some of these links that do work so I'll open up Windows Explorer, and as you can see, the file system is you know, very much, pretty much, just like Windows 7. So you'll have, you know, some of the the same features, the same capabilities that you're used to in Windows 7. Um, it's just sort of that that start menu, which is kind of like a, you know, I don't know, to me, to me, it's sort of like a cell phone interface. So if I hit the Windows button, it goes back to that, and then let's say I want to do Control Panel. Again, this might remind you of like an Android tablet or something where you can kind of scroll through and you know set some of the settings and notice they're calling them apps um, you know instead of programs. So again, it's sort of that that cell phone type interface. Maybe that's where we're heading. I don't know, but I I mean I like my cell phone and and I, I like a good Android tablet and you know I also like Windows 7, but I don't necessarily want to just fuse it all into one. You know who knows? Who can say? Maybe 
maybe we'll get used to this in the future. Maybe this will be a better way. And then again, maybe people will say, I don't like that. I like the old interface. I guess we've all got different opinions on that, but this is just a preview. Now, if you needed to get into, you know, more detailed settings, you can go down here and you can click on more settings. And that kind of brings up the traditional control panel. So if I were to go here and like do small icons, there's the traditional control panel that you're used to in Windows 7. So you do still have all of those features and capabilities there. And let's see, I don't let's see if the web browser is active in this version, this preview version. Yeah, web browser is active in this preview version. And see if I can get the tile. Um, I'm going to hit the Windows key again, go back, and let's see if I can get the tile to work as a shortcut to Internet Explorer. And no, uh, okay, well, anyway. So so some of these work, you know, it's, it's a free download, just Google um, Windows 8 developer, you know, preview developer edition. You can download it. Um, a lot of these don't, you know, they're just kind of there for looks to show you what the interface is like. Although you can download some sample apps and try them out in Windows 8. Um, so have fun and, you know, let me know what you think and um, who knows. They, they may modify this interface several times even before the, you know, the final beta is released or before the actual production product hits the shelves. Mm -hmm.